from a hiatus. Last week was Luminous Recap, you know, going over part one of season three. And before that, we had introduction of Masayuki. He lives up to his name, the greatest hero of all time. The chosen one allows him to basically... <laughs> his party mates will always crit, and no matter what, he'll just be in a good position because he is the hero according to the script. It's a fantastic power, kind of like a joke character, but also... Maybe he's gonna get super serious. Don't know what's gonna happen in today's episode. Let's find out. I thought it said a thong of visitors, not a throng. Fancy people here. The king of Brumund. ポニテオリムルファルムスの件でいろいろと協力してくれてとても助かりました。俺には及びませんぞ。わしは帰国との協定を守ったまで。幸が国の命運をあなたに賭けた。当然そこには出さんもあるゆえ。俺たちを信じ
you know, they gotta accept the offer and both of them are like, yeah, woohoo, let's go team Rimuru. I, I don't know what this I is supposed to infer. <laughs> So demanding, I guess you have to give it to Gazel, as in like, at least he doesn't back down in front of Rimuru. I feel like, maybe this is a hot take, but I feel like Gazel shows not much respect to Rimuru, but he does in his own way, which seems a little not condescending, but... It does feel like we got patronized there, going out of our way to fucking help them out because he got left out. You know what I mean? Like, Gazel, I get it. Like, the, like, they're trying to make him seem like he's standing on business and he is a true leader and it looks like he's talking down to Rimuru, but like, I, I, he feels like the senior, I know. But like, I also know that if Fabio just went Bilzebub here, the, <laughs> listen, listen, are you really telling me right now that if we just said Bilzebub here, what would he do? What would he do? Tell me! Nothing! The Dwarf Kingdom trash! How the fuck are you gonna act like you're better than us? What's up? The false king and the puppet. <laughs> and up till now, I thought that Yom was the luckiest dude in Tensura. Actually, Rimuru really is. But fucking Masayuki as well, goddamn. Muran! <laughs> and fucking... <laughs> Cucked. Foul menace? <laughs> Went from foul mouth to foul menace? The menace that left to its birth. Cool. Foul menace. Hello, Muran. Alright, no more Muran. She is Mur Faruminus, wife of King Yom of Faruminus. Cool. One second, one second. We back. Mew Farmenas des. Congotomo Yoroshko Negaishimasua. Muran. What does you got the Koyoga Arugarana? Call me at the Sorenari no cake, Sayo Tokodestanate. Clayman, bro. Clayman got the manners. He's so elegant. You've seen his pink apron in Slime Diaries, baking the scones, bro. Clayman is getting glazed this season. Wait, what was that? Shion. Shion is thinking about Clayman's etiquette as she remembers the beating that she gave to Clayman at the at Wild Pergus, right? Is that what Shion's thinking? Or is she just off thinking about something completely different? I could believe that too, but uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what she was thinking right now. Nightcaptain. I don't know how to feel about Grusius, bro. Straight up, like, Karyon is cucked already. Grusius... <laughs> I mean, hey, if this leads to his happiness, I guess, I mean, like, Yom's gonna die soon, right? So Grusius is waiting until Yom dies so that fucking he can get with Muran afterwards. <laughs> Edgar, Yom's attendant, new character, I'd never seen this kid before. <laughs> <laughs> Successor. I'm gonna Edmar's head. The coins? The coins. No? What is it? What is this shit? Oh 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 shit?
それはつまり用務陛下が魔王から賠償金をねぎったお The glaze, the legend of Yom never fucking ends. The man that negotiated with Rimuru and came out on top. Oh my god, the heroics of Yom. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's gonna happen a lot, Edgar. Yom is just gonna continue to take credit, don't worry. <laughs> Next up! Oh, the kids! Yeah, Fuck you! Yeah. Like, straight up, all these events is just orchestrated by this motherfucker here. Like, Yuki literally was behind most of the shit. ファルムスの軍勢が攻めてくるわ果ては魔王たちから呼び出されるわこれを大変の一言で片付けられてもね<笑>それで済むのがリムカイできたし結果オーライだなよかったです僕もひなたとはたまに会ってと伝えてたんだけどねひなたってほらか Shut the fuck up bitch you fucking whispered into her ears that he killed fucking you know Shizu, but actually that might have been the Eastern Merchant, because there was, you know, a middleman there involved too. あの人柄もきちんと伝えてたんだけどねひなたってほらかなり疑いそんなあいつそうそう自分の目と耳で確かめたことしか信じないたしたことかうっ。スケーリーそれでどうする忙しいようなら無理しなくてない。ふふ。
ロマンチストじゃなきゃ魔物の国を作ろうなんて思いつき確かに私にはない考え方ですわですが理解はできますカガレジャスワンステルーリムルワンステプレゼルフ東大に遺跡を荒らされるのは好みませんものえクレイマンの領土に関してはとても興味がありますなんとかその遺跡にお邪魔させ Hey, this is now like a common thing that we have, and we can like hang out, and maybe Kagari can be convinced, you know, to be our friends. This would be good for diplomacy, or she's potentially a liability now, who knows? I mean, her and Clayman have a big history, too. No major powers are hostile towards us now as we walk with the one guy that was behind pretty much fucking everything. Hello, kids. Yeah, we did. Never visited. Where's Chloe at? Chloe's the only one that gets head pats. Rimuru and Chloe are just locking in right now. Just staring at her. I know it's just an animation inconsistency, as obviously these four are talking right now to, you know, Yuki, and like this is kind of paused, but it's kind of funny how it's just like. <laughs> it's just staring. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna get like Shizu showing up in like spirit form or like just like some sort of imagery, right? At the end, everyone having fun with the kids and Shizu's like looking over in the sky. It's like a happy little thing. Just, I don't know, just a little fan service, you know? Peace. Yeah, they love me more than you. 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 They love me more than you. Yeah, 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 they love me more than you. You got him! Nah, I couldn't. I couldn't do what you do. Yeah, straight up bring T-Sensei and then we can like literally hire T-Sensei to live at our place and build a fucking school and have the kids there. Straight up. That will work, right? T-Sensei, join us! Yuki, you're not invited! But he's coming. The Japanese architecture, man. Free pass to everything? Damn! <laughs> That's, I mean, like, what? You gonna make the kids fucking pay? You gonna make T Sensei pay out of her fucking paycheck? You know she's underpaid as a teacher, bro. That would be so fucked up if we didn't give him this. Like, you show them everything, but if they're all pay gated, like, oh man, I can't afford anything. That'd be so sad. What if the party that goes the furthest in the labyrinth is this group of kids? That'd be kind of cool, right? Like, oh, if there's like a competition of different adventurous groups to see who can climb to in, the, in the labyrinth the most, and like, it's like these group of kids, that'd be hype.
ちなみに露天の出し物は銀貨1枚もしないものが大半なので3日間で使い切る単なる口実だリムル様勇者マサユキマサユキマサユキマサユキマサユキマサユキマサユキマサユキマサユキマサユキマサユキマサユキマサユキマサユキマサユキマサユキマサユキマサユキマサユキマサユキマサユキマサユマンどこまで信用できるものやら、oh、they talking all that shit, man. 正義ひなたに考えてもらっては困ります。俺を悪者に仕立て上げたい。さっさとあの魔王を倒して、この地に平和を。何をやっているんだい、君たち。ユキ。あ、ユキさん。組合の総帥ともあろう人がわざわざ魔王の視察ですかい。とうに僕たちとの友好を。Mm -hmm. It sucks. It, it sucks. It sucks. But. <laughs> He's making it better for us, eh? Alright. True, we could've killed you. We could've ended you in an instant. Masayuki versus Hinata. I genuinely don't know because Masayuki's powers is just bullshit and power follows the script of a hero defeating the evildoers. I don't think Hinata really is an evildoer. So would the chosen one work in the fight between Hinata and Masayuki? I'm not too sure. If there was someone like evil, someone bad, then like the heroic story, you know, I, I think that like Masayuki went in those situations. And that's why against the Demon Lord, it might be even better, super effective. But like against Hinata, the script, would it, would it work? I'm not too sure. That's just cap. That, that's just cap, right? Anyone with an ultimate skill should surpass and, you know, override the unique skill chosen one. So I just don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> we won't let you make a fool of Masayuki. Listen, you idiot trios are literally making yourselves look bad and making Masayuki look like a fool right now. I'm sorry. Look at his face. Look at Masayuki right now. しかしよ、そいつは魔王なんだぜ。エリフ。しかしよ、そいつは魔王なんだぜ。エリフ。しかしよ、そいつは魔王なんだぜ。エリフ。しかしよ、そいつは魔王なんだぜ。エリフ。
そんな成り行きで。What's gonna happen with Masayuki man? Like, the script is he's the hero and a demon lord is bad. But like Rimuru, I don't see him losing. But like, and again, we have multiple ultimate skills that override unique skills, the chosen one. And we have Raphael to cook something up too. I wonder if we're gonna end up playing the role of a villain. Just for fun and let Masayuki kind of have a win. Or maybe there's an outcome where both sides can look good without really losing and it's like a tie. Like, who knows? All right, that's the episode of Tensor. We're back from a hiatus with a, a bit of yapping, but the yapping was with a lot of, you know, important me meeting leaders, man. So, <laughs> of all the meetings, listen, I don't like Gazelle's tone. I don't. You know why? Because I don't like him acting like a big bro when I fucking know he can't even compete with us. He can't fight or shit. I get it. He's our superior senpai senior. But like, come on. Have some fucking respect. You talking with the member of the fucking octogram as if you're better? That shit just rubs me in the wrong way. But I can still respect Gazelle stepping up, right? Not really cowering down. Making sure that his presence as a leader is recognized and he really loves those donuts. Other than that, I guess... One of the more important lore shit is with Kazarim here, or Kagari, and the ancient ruins. For sure, these ancient ruins has to relate with ancient civilizations. And why are civilizations ancient and why would it have turned to ruins? Because of some sort of war. The Tenma War. Maybe if we go seek these ancient ruins, and a lot of them apparently exist in Clayman's domain, which is funny because, you know, Kagari and Clayman relationship. Like, maybe there's some hints there, you know, leading to the Tenma War. Uh, Dar Daguro got mentioned again, so like what's west of the western church is like barren lands and I guess Daguro has, you know, ownership of that shit and people are so scared of him, no one dares to, you know, claim anything in there. And then we got to see the kids, they're here, everyone's here, the tournament's about to start, Masayuki shows up, they're talking a lot of shit, low-key I want Mr. Mohawk guy get slapped around by Gopta, but overall, nice setup episode as we lead into the festival that starts next week, and that's just gonna be peak, and that's it from me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for humor more content, and until next time, take care.